how y'all doing today? Let me tell you how I'm doing because it is Friday and it's a wonderful day. It's a little chilly. That's why I got my little sweater on and my hoodie. I'm just a little chilly, but you know how I'm doing today? Crappy. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing great because yesterday I recorded four videos, intros and outros and all sorts of, actually technically six videos because one of them was going to be a three-parter. I spent all day yesterday, did not realize until I went in to start editing my B-roll first that this little mic hair wasn't working. So the audio is crap tried to salvage it so I'm starting over <sighs> so what am I doing today today I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to knit these little ear savers for elastic ear the the mask with elastic around the ear my lighting is so crazy today Whew. That's a bright, <laughs> that's some bright lighting. Anyways, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to knit these little guys. This one's not done properly. But the B-roll I'm gonna put over top of this will be properly. I made a bunch of them and they're real simple to make. Super simple to make. Let me tell you how to make them. First of all, Take some yarn, use scrap yarn. I, for the gray one here, I use some scrap, <clears throat> some leftover wool yarn that I had, probably in worsted weight. I used a number eight US circular knitting needles. You can use regular knitting needles. They don't have to be circular. And I used, you need a tapestry a tapestry needle or a darning needle, something that the yarn can fit through the eye, and you need a pair of scissors. Then you need buttons. Now, if you have little tiny, tiny buttons or tiny holes in your buttons, you're going to need a regular sewing uh, needle and thread, which is why I only have one of these on there because I went, oh, after I did this one, I went, why didn't I get something with a bigger so I could just use the tapestry needle? and use the yarn it would have matched and been a lot easier but it didn't so so without further ado let me tell you how to make these cute little ear savers for the masks with the elastic that goes around your ears to save your ears okay first of all you need to cast on 12 stitches use any cast on method that you like to do if you're a beginner this one right here is the easiest one to do just loop it around. Make sure you count 12 stitches, including your slip knot. Now, you will knit the first two rows. So you do knit and knit. Easy. Third row, you are going to make one at the beginning of the row and one at the end of the row. My favorite one to use is knitting through the front and the back of the first stitch and then knitting across knitting through the front and the back of the last stitch. That will give you 14 stitches on that row. That was row three. Row four and five, you're just going to knit across again, just like you did in, at the first part. Knit all the way across, turn it around, knit all the way back. Now, for row number six, you are going to decrease those stitches you just made on row three from 14 back down to 12. My favorite one is just knit two together. So on the sixth row, you will start out knitting those first two stitches together, knit across. When you get to the last two stitches, knit those two together. Simple. Then just knit two more rows and then bind off. Use any bind off method you like. I just use a simple one where you knit two stitches, pull the first stitch over the second one and bind it off. 
these don't have to be pretty. They need to be functional. You, it doesn't matter. You want them functional to hold on that mask so somebody's little ears won't get all red and, and sore. Because, you know, if you're wearing a mask for 12 hours a day, every day, it's going to hurt. So, the next thing you need to do, weave in those ends. Use your tapestry needle. Just weave them on in. And then, you need to take two buttons that you have chosen and sew them onto each end. Like I said, either use your tapestry needle with uh, buttons with big holes, use the same yarn, sew those on. Or if you got a button with small holes, get a regular needle and thread, sew it on that way. Either way, and you're done. Really simple. This one right here, yes, yesterday when I recorded myself knitting this one, it took me like 30 minutes to do it. That was only because I was talking the whole time and trying to make it so that you can see what I was doing. So, these are real simple. If you know somebody making masks for people, ask them if they need some ear savers to go along with their masks. You know, this is a good way to get rid of all your stash. I got a big old stash. That isn't, that's not even close to how much. A bunch of little, little balls of yarn that are too small to go with any bigger project won't match any of my other yarns, so I'm going to use up all that and make ear savers. Let me know in the comments if this tutorial was good enough for you, if it was, if it was understandable. Give me a like if you like this kind of video. Don't forget to subscribe. Right down there by Frank. Hi Frank. Subscribe down there. Don't forget to ring the bell down below also because you won't get notified when I upload again unless you do. And we never know when I'm going to upload because I don't know either. I do try to upload once a week. Hopefully I'll get this video up this week. <laughs> like I said, I did four videos. This should have already been done. This should have already been up. Ring the bell so you get notified when I do upload again. It's like Christmas. You don't know what it's going to be. Y'all be safe. Stay six feet apart. Wash your hands. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!